All the way back in the first episode of my Vocaloid series, I showed some videos in the introduction that had Vocaloid models moving around and dancing. There are tons of fan-made videos out there featuring 3D models of the Vocaloids, and this is all thanks to a program called Miku Miku Dance, or MMD for short. With Miku's quick rise in popularity after her release, many artists took to drawing her, and of course musicians wrote songs for her. But there were also people making promotional videos for her with 3D models. The problem was that each video used a different model, which used a different program to animate it. So a Japanese man named Higuchi Yu decided to release his own program for free in February 2008, and he named it Miku Miku Dance. MMD was created so that people could manipulate 3D models of the Vocaloids to enable them to dance for music videos, and its first public version was very basic and only had Miku available. But over the years it would receive many updates, and the program would help millions see the Vocaloids they love doing amazing and sometimes bizarre things. Rin was the second model created for MMD, and she became part of the MMD package in May 2008. Version 3 of MMD was significant for allowing multiple characters to be in one scene, and later updates would add new features, such as support for the bullet physics engine, sphere mapping, shiny textures, anti-aliasing, shadow mapping, and other features which are common in modern 3D applications. MMD was released as freeware, and it remains freeware today. But it's a little more complicated than that. So before you go downloading MMD and character models, you should make sure you watch what I have to say about that later in the video. As I said, the purpose of MMD is to allow people to import Vocaloid character models and manipulate them for dancing. Characters have skeletons as in traditional 3D programs, and these are what are manipulated to create motion. Although the characters' faces can be manipulated as well, to create various facial expressions, and even their eyes can be adjusted in many different ways. But the versatility of the program, and the growing developer base for it, turned it from a simple tool into something very powerful. Not only can character models be imported and manipulated, but background images, static models for items such as musical instruments, chairs, tables, vehicles, weapons, just about anything you can imagine can be imported and manipulated in MMD. This means that the program can create much more than simple dance videos, such as the strange but extremely cool lightsaber battles, and even crazier fight scenes. As with the Vocaloids themselves, the majority of media created with MMD is produced by amateurs and independents, and MMD's versatility has earned it a very large user base and modding community in Japan and the rest of the world. MMD even has its own magazine, and is often a feature in the magazine Windows 100%. Many plugins and extensions have been created for MMD, such as enabling motion capture support with an Xbox Kinect system. There is also Miku Miku Effect, which enables users to create and apply special effects from within MMD.
but MMD isn't only a tool for amateurs. A mecha anime called Straight Title Robot Anime is scheduled to air in February that is animated using Miku Miku Dance. While it's clearly a lower key show, it still looks decent for something animated with a freeware program, though it's kind of hard to tell either way with just this one ad. This also makes it obvious that MMD can animate non-Vocaloid characters as well. There are many videos animated with MMD that have no Vocaloids at all. Some of the more popular ones being the about the Toho series and its many characters. MMD is also used to animate stories. This category of video is known as MMD drama. The majority of these are rather strange, whether they're made by the Japanese or by Western fans, but some of them are worth watching. Many also sport the Vocaloid's voices in these videos, but since the Vocaloids were designed to sing instead of speak, the results aren't always great. The best way to look for interesting and well done MMD videos is to search for MMD Cup. The MMD Cups were competitions where people submitted their entries to try to win various prizes, including exclusive models for use in the MMD software. Most of these were Japanese only, but there have been some Western MMD Cup competitions. <laughs> Speaking of exclusive models, models are the heart and soul of MMD, and they are the most complex part of using MMD, although not for the reason you think. While the MMD software itself has been and will continue to be completely free, and it includes several free-to-use models for popular, popular Vocaloid characters, the rest of the models created for use in MMD are made by individual people, and they have various usage policies for the created models. Some offer their models for free for public use, such as the high quality and popular Lat Miku model, but most models have restrictions in terms of usage, editing, and distribution, and this has caused somewhat of a divide between the Japanese MMD users and the foreign users. Westerners new to MMD either assumed that all models were free to use or couldn't read the Japanese restrictions, and so many restriction, restricted models were used when they shouldn't have been. So if you plan to try out using MMD, it's recommended that you stick with the included models to be on the safe side. 
Even motion data itself, the choreography files, can be restricted if the person who made it wants it to be. The basic rule of thumb is this. Unless you can find in a readme file, for example, a statement explicitly giving you permission to do what you want to do, whether that's to use a model, edit it, or distribute it, then you should assume that you don't have that permission. Of course, this has not only been an issue for non-Japanese MMD users. Within the Japanese MMD community, there have been people who have disregarded these restrictions or distributed models that were not meant to be shared, such as the models given out with the one Windows 100% magazine, and this has caused some modelers to stop producing and distributing their works because of a lack of respect from the users. If you want to learn how to use MMD seriously, then you need to consider these limitations. It may be difficult to find materials to work with if you don't speak Japanese. I don't have an ounce of artistic flair in me, so I have not attempted to use MMD myself, so I can't tell you how to use the program. But there are many tutorials on YouTube for both Japanese and Western users, and I will link to websites with information on Miku Miku Dance in the video description. Unfortunately, Mr. Higuchi retired from MMD development in 2011, but he allowed the community to continue developing the program, so it is in no danger of disappearing. If you've ever been interested in 3D animation, I think it's worth a look. Where are you going? You're gonna be my Carlita! <laughs>